up guys, it's me, Mr. Bradley, and today we're learning about where rainforest creatures get their food from. But before I begin, hit that subscribe button and get ready to do the starter questions on your screen right now. We're here in Khun Dao National Park an island off of South Vietnam with a small tropical rainforest. And we're here to learn about where animals and creatures in the rainforest get their food from. Tropical rainforests are ecosystems that are teeming with life, but with an abundance of life comes competition for resources like food. All animals in the rainforest need food, but they all get their food from different places. Starting in the treetops where there is an abundance of light and heat. There's an abundance of flowers, leaves and fruit all year round because there is no winter in the tropics. Leaf eating animals such as caterpillars, langars and certain types of lizards such as iguanas will munch on leaves in the treetops while insects such as butterflies will feed on pollen and nectar from flowers. Other animals such as birds, primates and squirrels will eat fruit in the treetops. If you listen closely fruit all over the floor and every five seconds another one's falling down and it's it's the monkeys in the trees above us I think think monkeys eating the fruit yeah it's monkeys I can see I can see them all at the very top of the upper canopy they're too far away for the camera to see though but there are lots of monkeys up there and they're all eating there's birds up there too pretty cool Animals in the treetops rarely will come down to the forest floor because most of them are not able to climb back up to the treetops. Their food, light and homes can all be found safely in the treetops so they have little business coming down to the forest floor. Eagles and other birds of prey will fly above the treetops and hunt these animals such as birds, primates and squirrels. Oh, what those? Oh. Creepy. They look like shells. They look like shells. That is weird. Oh my god, Madge. What? What? A tree. You. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't take much more. Michelle is very, very scared. And scared she should be. Predators have specially adapted senses in rainforests such as excellent eyesight, or if they're a nocturnal predator, very good hearing or sense of smell. Big cats such as tigers, jaguars or leopards will hide from their prey using their specially camouflaged bodies before leaping down on them and biting them in the neck to kill them. Other animals such as crocodiles, caimans and alligators will sneak under the water on scene and then suddenly burst out at great speeds, dragging their prey onto the water. I just realized I can move the whole tree. This little bell here. Bird January morning here in the foothills of Northeast Provo when a group of guys saw something they've never seen before. Science. Other animals such as snakes, spiders and scorpions will use venom to kill or paralyze their prey before consuming them. Let's get out of here. Oh my goodness. That's uh, it's a snake, I swear to God. He is eyeballing us very closely. So let's just get a little video here. Yeah. The snake is mildly venomous, mostly harmless to humans except for very rare cases. It has enough venom in it to kill animals. And you can see that he's got an animal here caught in its grasp. My guess is because this is a flying snake, it may have glided through the tree canopies and ambushed this unfortunate, perhaps it's a gecko, injected its venom into the creature. And now they've fallen to the forest floor where he's going to devour it. Seems to have been waiting for it to become paralyzed before it does that, until I came along to disturb its meal. 
The snake is called a blue ornate flying snake and it can only be found here in Kundao. This feels like a really rare thing to see. Other snakes such as the anaconda and boa constrictor don't use venom to kill their prey but instead will suffocate it by wrapping their bodies tighter and tighter around the thing they're trying to eat. They will then swallow them whole. I think I've just found a, a termite's nest or an ant's nest. So termites are tiny little insects that feed off of dead decaying wood, exhibit A, and they build nests in the rainforest. There's another one and another one. There's loads of termite mounds around here. I just come across an ant's nest here. Termites, ants, scorpions, slugs, worms, and other bugs, as well as even fungus, are known as decomposers. The reason for this is they feed off of dead or decaying materials, such as dead plants, leaves, fruit, or even dead animals. By eating on these dead things that fall to the forest floor, these animals help dead plants and animals to decompose and become part of the soil, which is how nutrients are recycled in the rainforest. And so we've come to the end of our video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you next time.